Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another video from me, this calendar. And today we're going to talk about something different. That's something that has been bothering me, not out of a metagame aspect, but more that this Pokemon isn't more complex today than it was when it was released. And that is the Gore Guys, the Super Form, I guess we try to call him, or Super Size. Uh, Gore Guys is a very, very nice Pokemon and a very bulky one with an 85 base in uh, HP, 122 defense, which is really, really good. Uh, 75 base in special defense, it's actually really fair considering the tier it is in. Um, Gore Guys has been outshined by Trevenant, but it seems the niche of Trevenant is starting to die off as. Uh, it really starts to showcase how Gorgeist is not as ever-evolving as his counterpart were, but Trevenant does his job better than uh, Trevenant. What I mean by that is that there is no new tactics on how to use a Gorgeist. I watched PocketTubers the other day, and I saw two of them using Gorgeist. Use them the same way that is a Will-O-Wisp Lead Seed set with Protect and Shadow Sneak. And uh, that has been the theme for quite some time, I've seen Sinesis since it actually was introduced in Oras, and I thought that would be the game changer, that now po people will see that Pain Split is not a reliable recovery, Sinesis is, and you can do other things with this Pokemon, but no, that has not happened. And um, it's not necessarily a bad thing, like I said, because I get why people are using it as a D wall in NU, but it's actually gone so far to PU. People are not utilizing this, this Pokemon more than what is that implying that it can do. But the thing is here, or actually I should show you, I went to Smogon just to verify that I'm not wrong about this. And look at this. In PU, Willowis sneezes, Seed Bomb, Foul Play. Now, I will say this. With that defense, would you really use Will-O-Wisp? Is that, is that a priority? I get the residual damage, I do. But really, I mean, the physical bulk for a Pokemon on itself is there. It is... Actually, you're better off with Toxic if you want to have some kind of residual damage. Will-O-Wisp is not really helping it taking damage that much better because people are not trying to attack the thing physically. Mind you, if it's not a Swallow, which actually has guts, and that's going to not work out anyway. And I went to NU checking that. You know what? Still, Will-O-Wisp, Lead Seed, Sneezes, Foul Play. Very, very weird. Watched RU, was hoping for something different. Yeah, Protect. Not Sinesis this time, but basically the same set. Went to UU, is it gonna change? No. Willow, Lead Seed, Sinesis, Seed Bomb. Alright, then OU, at least something has to happen, right? But no, has a lot of issues in OU, which of course is expected. But you see the same set here, and I was basically like, really, this, this has gotta stop. People are not seeing the potential of this Pokemon, um, or rather they've only seen the one potential it has. Let me break it down to you. 100 base attack. That's a lot. That's a lot for PU, that's a lot for NU, that is almost a lot in RU. And what I'm trying to say is, it has some natural good bulk. Why not utilize its attack stats? It has a great priority of the Shadow Sneak move. It has risk to scout out what Pokemon could be able to do. And just in general, it's worth checking out for that reason alone. I used different sets on my channel. I haven't used my Gore guys since or as sadly, and I think that's gonna change after after I seen how stale this Pokemon has become to some people. And uh, one set that I really like was a small form of the Gore guys with 99 base speed, having flame charge and explosion on that. Uh, it's not it's not made for bulk. It's made because of it has a high attack stat. That attacks is 85. You can just pull as good on this one. Um, and also, Flaming Axle done a different set with a small form. It is really well working. It is bringing something new to the meta. And this Pokemon is made to be unique, but people are insisting on not doing so. Um, let's actually watch its potential move pool. Um, I did make a special set. It's not worth using, guys. I just have that out of the way. Well, it has a great special move pool, which is really, really annoying. Uh, but that's actually, like I said, for Explosion, Fan and Force, you want to use that with Power Herb. Um, sea Bomb, of course, Bullet Seed, Shadow Sneak, which I think is a massive perk for this Pokemon. And um, its physical base here is, of course, Return and Frustration. Not that big of a deal, I guess. Flame Charge, which I explained before, is a really, really fun move to use. Not as powerful, 
but you get fast. Like that's since that po- since Gore guys is very likely to survive any hit. Having a speed boost go in it's actually really cool. I like that. Um, it also has access to charge speed when I use that. Um, but I guess Rock Slide is his best filler move to deal with the flying Pokemon, who actually walls it completely with the two stabs being not that functional, uh, because most flying Pokemon are normal type in two and then you. And that's probably the reason, as I got stated for me, why it isn't in a higher tier. Uh, basically, it is um, it is walled out by other Pokemons. And if we look at the two removes that hit can be learned, it's not a whole lot. Like I said, the really one that stands out is actually the Sneezes, which is really nice for it. It really is a game changer for this Pokemon. And of course, Fall Play, which is to some extent good. Also, Spite is a very, very nasty move if you want to pull something like that off. Since, like I said, it is very likely to survive the onslaught it's going up against. And since you can frisk your opponent, you can actually frisk out if it is a bandit or spec set or scarf. And, you know, spite that gone, that is, that is good. That is something else. And, um, yeah, we're just going to look at the different forms stats. Now, I guess the only one that really worth mentioning is the small size. Consider how it changed differently uh, depending on the other sets. It still actually has a nice defense set. They all keep that defensive stats of 122. Now, the only thing that is changing is the HP and attack. HP is bigger, stiffer. And I really like to use a small size with Pain Split, you're going to pull that off. It is fast enough to pull out. 99 is definitely faster than most things in the new. And it's generally intimidating because of that. And um, then we have the Super Size, which has 100 base. Like I said, Shadow Sneak is a major factor there. It has a lot of bulk, a lot of HP, a lot of defenses. And just in general, it can survive a whole lot of things. So... Um, yeah, guys, what I'm basically trying to say is give, give this guy a tryout. I don't mind the, the Stolly set, I don't. I'm just trying to imply here that we are missing what this Pokemon is actually able to do. It's not just your average wall in uh, PU. It could do really well in the higher tiers, and it has the moves to use that well. And basically, try this Pokemon out for something more than what people are barely been using for almost two years now. Gore Guys is a massive threat. And, um, yeah. I have no punchline here. <laughs> but really, guys, this is, uh, this is a short video. I really want to hear your thoughts. Have you tried out something different with Gore Guys? And if so, what was that? And just in general, how do you see the standard set about Gore Guys? Why have people not tried to evolve this thing or make it a different Pokemon than it is today? I mean, this set, like I said, has even with the introduction of Sinesis and Oras not been ever evolving, which some Pokemon has. Uh, so I feel that it got the cold shoulder while it got something good out of it. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching. And like I said, leave your own thoughts down below. I will read them. And I want to thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye.